guys. Ta-da! This is our drink of the day. It's going to have mint. And actually, this is the first time I've used rum in a cocktail. So, I'm not a rum kind of girl, but I'll drink it. I mean, if, you know, you just got to make the right drink, which we are making mojitos! What? What? And... If you guys love them, I'm going to show you the right way to do your mint. Um, usually, if you get a mojito and it's um, grassy like bitter, it's because they did um, too much uh, muddling. That you know, got to muddle the mint and all that stuff. They did too much of that. I will show you as we venture on into something else I really like. Hang on, I got to get the uh, uh, sugar for that drink. We're just going to use the uh, real sugar today for that cocktail. But anyway, of course, i got to get things started first. We are going to recreate the Taco Bell Crunch Wrap. Oh, my God. I remember a, a few few weeks back, I, I actually did the Taco Bell oh, with Pixie, right? And I'm, I love them, but it's like I can make them myself. My Kelly gave me, she goes, Mom, here it's on Pinterest, of course. She goes, here's the recipe. And... I always knew there were a lot of things you can recreate if you go like to fast food restaurants. Not for sure. I don't think they have a secret recipe to the KFC chicken, but um, so I'm gonna try it. I I'm so excited, very excited. Um, I do want to clean my little couple mint leaves, get my meat going because we're gonna brown our meat. Oh wait, I was gonna show you. I didn't get to show you this yesterday. Here's the card I got. Can I? And then I'll just, I have it all on like, and let me see. Oh, I have everything on my cart today. And part of my counter. Okay, I thought that was, I just love this thing. I just love it. What's the best 60 bucks I've ever, ever spent? So anyway, I'm going to, uh, you can use as many mint leaves in your drink as you want. Um, I, the, the reason sometimes you get a mojito and you don't taste, uh, you know, anything but the rum is because they don't use enough of the mint leaves or they didn't muddle it. Some I've seen some bartenders, um, not all people who are bartenders should be bartenders, kind of like not all people should that are hairdressers should be hairdressers and not all people that are teachers should be teachers, but um, anyway. I take, I take about three to four. These are kind of, oh, I take a big one. Because um, it all depends on how, you know, how strong of a mint flavor you want. So I'm going to take four. Those are four medium. And this is a live, a live living mint plant. So let me put that over there. I'm just going to rinse these quick. I'm going to leave them over here to dry for a little bit. And then, ooh, we need to, uh, I'm going to brown our meat. And uh, we need, this recipe calls for, let me start out first. I'm just so excited. I'm hungry and I'm excited. And what I did this morning, I'm so excited to share with you guys. Um, you need a pound of ground beef. This is going to make six, six big ones, right? Because you got to get the large flour tortilla. And these never go to waste because I get up in the middle of the night and I have one if I don't have a lot for dinner. i just roll it up. I don't even warm it up anymore, but okay. Um, so we're going to do our taco seasoning then. We're going to add to that. Follow the directions on the package. It's about perfectly the same. We're going to use our shredded Mexican cheese. Um, once again, this is Vons, and they, we're all out of Sargento and all the ones I like, but I'll try this because that's all they had. Sometimes I guess you can't go wrong with cheese, right? I don't know. And it was a rusty cut. I need that big, chunky stuff because you guys know me okay so you guys are pretty much this is me as well my life so I'm gonna make this all up okay get some of the mint off my hands let me put that over there because um I'll heat it back up and I'll make another one I'll probably make try and make two today wow this seems like more than a pound oh look at that stringy that's kind of cool Sometimes you can do a stringy. All right. Turn that down. We're just going to put that on medium. I don't think I need all this. 
I've never done the string, you guys. I'm just going to do it. Just feel, feel wild today and crazy. Oh, by the way, let me wash my hands for that. i got to show you something. What else I got when I went to Home Goods? Because what I, you guys, I'll see when I always had everything, my uh, spatulas and that stuffed in that little crock pot. I got another one. How cute is this, you guys? A mason jar. And this was only like seven or eight dollars. But it's really cute. It's like distressed. It looks vintage. And so I've got all my pretty ones in there. And that's a pretty ones in that one. So. I just put that there on my trusty little heart and pick, pick a spatula. Okay, let's get this going. I'm talking too much and my meat will be overdone. Now that you can also put salt and pepper on. I don't know, I just feel if I'm using seasoning, there's enough of everything in there for me. That's what I need. I don't, you know... Oh, I have my glasses. Let me see if that was a pound. That just seemed like a lot. Oh, it is a pound. Why was that at all? It just seemed like a lot. You guys, this was a deal today, too. I went to Vons. And $2.99. It was $2.99. And this is 93% lean, even. That's so crazy. Wow, that's a lot of meat. Feels like my hair shredded. Oh, I, I did it today. First time. Of course, after I did it, I was had to go out this morning and of course there's my moose from Amazon sitting on my step I'm like oh I wanted to try that because it's a little it was muggy here this morning a little damp so I think I lost some of my curl but hey, it's okay I can do it I think I could do it kind of like in a better than straight because sometimes when I just do my hair it just gets whoo I mean it was like real big Linda Evans hair right all right now that's enough that meat we got that going now also, uh, we're going to need six tostada shells. Uh, I didn't get them because there were so many. And I feel like um, I can use, because uh, you can use corn tortillas. You just got to bake them. We're going to bake them for 10 minutes at 400. 400 degrees and start. So, one of these goes in each of them. I just can't believe somebody... I, you know that recipe probably wasn't that hard to figure out, but I'm just kind of happy with that. I'm going to put some parchment paper down. Even though my pans are clean, I just, it's just so much easier because just take this and toss it away. All right. So, I did, and I actually did look for pot holders at the Home Goods, but they didn't have them. I'm going to find them or look too late. All right, so I'm going to probably bake, because these keep, I'll put about four on there. I mean, even though this is making four. Sometimes, like, because my hamburger is protein, I'll just eat that when I'm needing a snack. All right, so we're going to put that in there. Still preheating, so. so that'll make that a little crunchier. It is a crunch wrap. All right, so my burgers, burger meat. Oh, could go for a burger. I'm just really hungry. I'm getting really thirsty, too. But I'm so happy. A lot of you are so anxious to uh, do the mojita, so that's, I really like that. I like that you guys throw out there, like, the drinks you want to learn or you know already and just want to know another variation of it okay so that's going to be a little while so we might as well do our drink there are several ways to do this drink uh, trust me you can either uh shake it and you know or you can stir it it, it all depends on to you um if you use the i'm not going to do the shaker method today but if you do the shaker method when you're done shaking it and you have your glass, you get fresh ice. Put fresh ice in your glass. I need ice anyway, so let me get that out. Oh, look at my maid, my maid filled up the ice trays. Thank you, maid. I've never had a maid. I actually have a good one for like once a month. Okay. So you would fill up your uh, 
ice all the way and uh, then I would then you're gonna strain it if you shake it you got to strain it because some people don't want like the mint and the lime and all that in there so they strain it over a fresh glass of ice cubes and then you we're gonna top it off with club soda just a splash and we're, I'll show you how to garnish it and that's how you would do the shaker version okay I hope I have not lost you but everything that I put in this glass uh, actually I'm gonna put it in should, well I want to I want you to see how I, I do it so we're gonna start out with our sugar now you can use simple syrup I just go and for the whole sugar in the bottom. I'm not about putting water in if I don't need to and a really good drink. So I'm going to probably about a good tablespoon because, you know, your limes are going to be a little sour. That looks like a good tablespoon. Okay, so we're going to put sugar in that one. Like I said at this point, if you've got simple syrup, you can put it in there. If you have your agave, you can put it in there. Me, we're just gonna start with the syrup. All right, let me get my cutting board out. Okay, my little mint there. I'm, next, we're gonna do the limes. Now, once again, you can do several different techniques. Where's my, uh, oh, there it is. Um, you, what we're going to do is just, you could do two to three lime wedges and put it in here, or you can squeeze the lime juice and put it right in there too. It's totally up to you. So, I'm just going to take a couple wedges here. Now for me, I'm just going to throw these in. I, I am all about like how it looks when I'm making a drink because Lord knows most people are watching you if you're bartending and they want to see what you're doing, how you're doing it. So I do that. It looks cooler than, you know, just putting the lime juice in them. So sometimes I do things because they're cool, you know. All right. And then get that out of the way. I'm going to use it later over here. Let me get these very, very nice mint leaves in. We're just going to throw them on top. You know, I feel like I need a couple more. Hang on, you guys, because I'm going to go for a lot of mints in mine. So let me grab a couple more mints and just put it in there. Isn't that beautiful? See, if, and if you make this like for your garden parties that you're going to have this summer, I hope so. That's That'd be fun. Say. So, Wow, they're like, wow, how did you know how to make that? And you're like, hey, YouTube. Okay, so you muddle at this point. I don't have the official muddle utensil, but if you do, do not get, if you're going to buy one, don't get one that's varnished or um, shellacked or anything. You want to have uh, raw wood or the ones with the rubber stoppers, no teeth, because the, the thing now we're go you're going to have to know is... You don't want to damage those mint leaves. They're very fragile. They have those veins that have chlorophyll. And if you uh, beat them, if you muddle it beat, or beat, beat it too bad, it's going to release this bitterness. And that's what you're going to taste in your drink. So um, I'm going to use the bottom of my, I will, I'm going to, I do really need to muddle. I don't usually have drinks or drink it myself that do allow, allow that, but Oh well, so anyway, we're gonna gently, you wanna squeeze out the lime. I don't even think that's gonna fit in there. Oh, forget that, that's not gonna work either, you guys. My little glass is too little. Let's just go for this one. Should be a round, a round or flat end, but we're good. But anyway, with your muddle, I'm definitely gonna get one. So you're gonna squeeze out your juice, and then when you're doing your leaves, you're just gonna do like two Two models, like, and once you start smelling that uh, mint, you're done. Let me get some more of my lime juice out. Okay, and then 
and then mud on my leaves. One, two times each leaf, and I'm starting to smell it, so I'm done. Do not want me a bitter mojito. Okay, so uh, let me just make sure I got all the good things. Now, because I'm not shaking it, I'm going to add my rum, white rum, white, white rum. And I have Bacardi. I went out with a guy who drank Bacardi and Diet Cokes all the time, so that must be why I have one yet. Right? Get my official coaster. I better watch the burger meat. Get, I was, do you guys notice I just kind of get excited and into my drinks? I'm like, oh. Okay. Almost done with that. It's almost not red, and then we're going to drain it. This is actually a really fast recipe, which is exciting to me. I won't have to go to Taco Bell, which is like 10 minutes from me. If I went when I worked at LAX, it was on my way home, so it was kind of easy to stop and get a crunch wrap. It wasn't to taco salads, but I do like my crunch wrap, so. Okay, a little bit more on that. Turn that down a little. So once again, you're going to add a, a shot of your alcohol. Give or take a shot. Depends how much. For me, I'm going to go a little bit more. Okay. And, and the, the glass that you usually would use, and I don't have any, are the tall, slender ones. Those are nice. But this is kind of nice, too. You know, I'm not that picky about some drinks and, and what to use. So this is one of them. Like, this is if I'm having, like, a garden party or a rooftop party, as in my case. This is what I would do. I'd bring them up on a tray and be like, cheers. <laughs> cheers, everybody. And, times have you guys seen me struggle with this ice cube tray you guys have know of any really good places that have them online preferably oh, I would just love that okay so anyway we're gonna fill it up with water or water my ice cubes well it is water frozen water we're gonna fill it up with frozen water cubes because yesterday I didn't have enough and I do need to get another one Okay, so let's see if oh they came out great. Perfect. So at this point now we're gonna add a little club soda or look at my meat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna you know the one thing about the 93% there is not a lot of grease. I turn that down low when I do my other stuff on it anyway. There is like zero, zero. Okay, so let me just get that off. Okay, now I actually have never really followed this recipe until the last time, but um, okay, so you put three fourths of a cup in your seasoning. Okay, three fourths of a cup of water in our seasoning. I'm gonna make it the right way because I have. You guys watching me? I know you don't care, but sometimes I do read the directions, you guys. Sometimes, and then I'll get my water. Do you guys ever like not use your um, dishwasher and use it like for another cabinet in your kitchen? That's mine. Because it's only me. I don't. I wash my out by hand. Okay. So, there we go. And, uh, get that actually, I turned it up to a four, six, five. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we got 10 minutes on our corn. I don't even know if there's a difference in taste between the um, tostada I already made up. Should have tried it something different but I like my little corn ones in fact I'm gonna to have to get the little grabbers to get them out I can tell already so back to our drink club soda and it's best to not get the big ones and I know these are a lot more expensive I get it 
Hang on. But, um, are we going? Okay. Every time you open, I cannot even shake that. Okay. That is why, because you know it's fresh, it's going to be bubbly, and that's what you want. And then we're going to just, that looks good. Some you can do. I don't like a whole lot of club soda, otherwise it, begin, it begins to be a club soda drink. But it's up to you guys, totally. Let me get my green straw. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I got my scissors over at the other place, because we're doing something when I eat. I got, why well, can't, I don't want to tell you that. Don't want to tell you yet, but okay. I take these paper towels. I got my club soda by my feet. Woo! Bottom for my feet are really, really clean. Okay. Keep watching our meat here. Ooh, that looks just good enough to eat like that. Okay. Now we're gonna garnish our mojito, and this is where the more ice cubes comes into play that I don't have. But let's do it this way. Okay. And this is how you would garnish it. And there's your mojito. Cheers! Mm. Mm. Oh, that's pretty good. Dang it, that's pretty good. I never, I make them, but I never drink them because I'm, you know, I'm not a mint person, but I like this. this. It's a very refreshing drink. And you can do like flavor ones of it too. Like a watermelon version, would uh, just get some watermelon, uh, real watermelon in the bottom, throw it in there and muddle it. Mm. Um, what you normally would do too, you can just stir it, but I don't like to stir, I don't like to stir my drink. But you can. Probably a couple of those because I feel I feel people with straws they're gonna do this anyway, but you could do it before just to make sure. But I'm losing my garnish there, and then sometimes people just want to squeeze some more lime in there because that's what you you're you're not supposed to put it back on there, but I'm going to because it looks good. But okay, maybe it don't look that good. What? It's all about the garnish. I was um, thinking, um, like, most bartenders do not like to make this drink. They don't like to make anything muddled. They just want to sling drinks out or, or pour the beers and off they go. They, you know, it's all about making money, right, for some people. For me, I was, I just always wanted my drinks to look pretty, uh, especially at the airport, because you are paying a pretty good price for those. Just saying. And um, so I always tried to go above and beyond, but... For me, I should have worked at like fine dining because they always want nice looking drinks and stuff. So, should have done that. There, they want you to take the time to make the perfect cocktail every time. But I've never worked in fine dining. I, I don't know. It just it just seemed too fancy for me because I was brought up. We we never went out fancy, fancy, and um, so. But you know, I could have done this. What, what I really would love is for Wolfgang Puck to call me and say, you know, he's got a plate, a restaurant. I think it's a five-star restaurant, too, in Maui, right on the beach. It's like, call me, Wolfgang. I will transfer our, can't transfer now. I don't work there anymore, but would you hire me? Because I could live over there really easily. And we could still cook. Oh, my God, we could do all these tropical drinks. Oh, so good. Oh, I, you know what? I think I've talked myself into liking these. Hmm. Not bad. Okay, I think I've lost total control of what I'm doing here. Let me get a plate out. we got to put our tostada on it. Okay. And I think I'm going to turn our meat off because we are done with that. Uh... Next, we're going to have to start assembling it. Do, do, let me, okay, remember how I used to have the little notes? My little notes have now turned into notebook size notes. What is wrong with me? I'm like, oh, okay, well. Oh, I lost some tape with it, but you know what? It works. 
Oh, let me just put that up there. Okay. And I've come to where I'm just going to not wear bras anymore. I'm wearing just sports bras because I am so much more comfortable. Nothing pops out. Like yesterday I checked it when my screen went dark and some of you caught that. I'm like, yeah, I know you guys can still see me, but I, I don't want to get flagged for having stuff falling out. So I'm like, fine, I'm just going to wear my sports bras. I love them. I wear them every day anyway. So, hmm, that's what I'm wearing. Bras be gone is my favorite. What I'm going to have is my new motto. Okay, you guys, let's see. We got another stuff to do. We got to cut up our tomato, shred our lettuce. And this is from the other day. I don't know if I'm going to, sh I'm just going to pull it apart because some of this is kind of some other days because it has been a couple days, but since I used it, but I, you can use shredded too. I don't know what the difference would be. I know you can't see my drink. The drink's in my way. Oh, oh, I'm so glad. I didn't even know I had a green plate for it's a mojito day. It's green day and I was going to wear green and I didn't. So, oh well. Shredding, my, this is my shredding. I'm my shredder. I looked at Bonds again today for one of those box graders. Mm, they didn't have it. Some people are so friendly there. The butcher knows me really well. I never stop and get stuff from the butcher, but I'm like, I see him every day. He's a young guy. He's like, hey, I'm like, I like telling him I do cooking shows. I need to come here every day. I'm not, I'm not, you know, that unorganized and I need to come every day to get some food. And then I walk by the, the fresh pizza dough. I'm like, oh my gosh, because that was, that was really good, you guys. I love that. I think we'll get it again. But I still got leftover Panda Express. You know, that though, most of the day, that was really good, too. So we're going to dice our t one tomato. But there again, you can have as many as you want. But I'm trying to be like, just like Taco Bell. My cheese that I'm using today is this um, Tostitos one. Uh, it, it says that you can use, um, let me see, let me get this. A nacho cheese or a queso cheese dip. And you know, I, when I, I had this here, so I, I was going to use this. But then I thought, oh, I'm going to look for Taco Bell. I'm sure they got queso cheese, but they didn't. Mm, Taco Bell, because I'm trying to get it just like that. And I was telling people I'm going to recreate this Taco Bell recipe, my crunch wrap. And they're like, ooh, crunch wrap or cream, which I need my sour cream. Oh my gosh, sour cream, where are you? Mm. Yes, yes, my little honey, right in front. It takes precedence over everything in my kitchen. Right there. Okay. So. Ooh, let's make sure. Oh. Check on them corn to tortillas in there. Oh, well, they look just like the tostadas that were in the store, you guys. Let me shut that off, though. That's pretty, pretty good. They took... The shape of, oh, it's so clean. Let's just stick them there. Yeah, they're hard, so that's good. I feel like I do more if I do it. Like I was going to deep fry those even, and then the recipe did say you could bake them. So I'm like, oh, well, okay. But I think next time I would, I love deep fried corn tortillas. Another reason I got those because sometimes I just want to make up a couple tortilla chips when I'm watching whatever I'm watching. Okay, I think that's probably enough tomato. Let's get that over here. You know what? I want to make sure I take my glasses over to where I go, so I want to stick those in there. Now, next we're going to um, heat up the cheese. It says we got to heat up the cheese. Oh, man. Oh, didn't even have to whack on it, you guys. So, let me uh, get a microwave safe dish. <laughs> and off we go. I don't know. Those are not going to work there for me. And I know you all are screaming, oh my God, you didn't put it on your napkin, your drink. There we go. Eventually, I do the things that I should be doing, but it's like, what else? Okay, so we'll put some of this on because I'm not making all six. This I love too. 
just to dip my nacho chips in. Oh my god, that's dinner right there. Dinner and a drink. There you go. All right, so we're just gonna heat this up a little. Uh, okay. And I'll try and make like maybe two, two toast, uh, two of them, two crunch wraps. I think maybe make one for tonight. So I'm going to put two in there to microwave. But they're so fresh, I don't need them like that. And large, large. I mean, if they were any bigger, I could get them bigger. Just go get them. All right, let's get those out, the cheese. And then we're just gonna microwave it. I should bring my little microwave over here on the bar. That would be, because it's clear on top. Top of my fridge, so I just, I really need to do the other thing. Just maybe somewhere else. I don't use the microwave a lot, that's why, you know, it's up there. It's blah, blah, blah. What did you use it for? You know, I drink sugar. We're good. All right, I think we're almost ready to assemble. And I'm going to do it in order, like they say. Because when I do this on my own, you know, I'm just going to whip it together. Okay, so now I'm going to ch change burners since this one's already a little warm. I'm going to put that on four, which is not quite medium. But get that out of the way. Because we are going to... Make them even crunchier. We're going to spray our Pam in there and then put the completed crunch wrap on top. How it goes down. Okay, so let's make one of these babies first. Okay. Put that over there. Whew. Get one of those out ready to go. I can eat that. You know, even if you guys don't like mint or you don't want to serve it to people, it is like the perfect cocktail to serve to somebody else. It's just really festive. It's like people with their Bloody Marys, they're like now having skewers of um, mini, mini sliders and everything else. So I like that. I got to find a place though that has that. I would like that. Okay, here we go, you guys. I'm going to do it in order. We have our tortilla on a flat surface. It's not flat. Let me just put it on. Let me put it on the stove because this is not hot anyway. Okay, then we're going to sprinkle on. It says a half cup taco meat. It's like whatever. I just don't. I mean, oh, let me do a half a cup. I, I just don't eat like that. So, I know we can't overdo it because we got to fold it and I get that. But, you know, yeah, it looks good. Oh my God, I could have just taken a scoop of that. Let me just, I am. Um, you know what? Because I'm, I'm hungry. And I have to tell you, I went to 24 Hour Fitness this morning. Not to work out. As you might, might have imagined. But, mm, okay, that felt better. But to join, I, I've been telling what you guys five times at least. I'm going to go, I'm going to go there today and join. I was like, okay, Lana, I'm just going to do it. It's summer. I want to go to Maui for my 60th birthday in August. Get yourself together. And guess what? I even got a personal trainer for five times. Oh, and he's from London. The cutest little, he's not a little boy, but so cute. Oh, my God. I was like, I just, I, I just feel certain areas I maybe need updating because I don't, I haven't had a trainer since I was like 23. So I'm like so excited. I start, you know, go tomorrow at nine in the morning. So I won't see you guys till after them, but I'm like really excited. It's a great gym, so much better. I was going to Bay Club down here in, well, it's Redondo Beach, but it's right on Hermosa Beach, right by the ocean, a hundred bucks a month. There, and there, everything was outdated and it, the pool you had was so crowded. And he goes, hardly anybody uses it. And so I went there. It's so nice. I'm just so excited to get back into it. You know, I took off, oh, probably since January. So what, it's been five, five months. And I thought, you know, I'm just, my family, we just need to work out. I mean, 
we love to eat, so you got to work out. I mean, yeah, I have walked, I biked, you know, but I need, I need the weights too. I want to just, I'm just so excited now. I took a little break. I took a little break from everything when I quit work and, um, I was working on my own and I needed it. My body needed it. I just need to regroup and now I'm ready to get back into it. So wish me luck. I am going to go there. I missed it. I do. And they have great, I, I just love it. I love it there. It's pretty cool. Okay. Back to the food. Uh, well, I'll tell you something about it too. But um, it says drizzle the nacho cheese over the meat. Okay. That's what we're doing. Anyway, the guy was going through my personal plans. He goes, what target areas do you want? Blah, blah, blah. And then he goes, okay, now how about your diet? I'm like, honey, I said, well, I didn't say that. I'm like, well, I do YouTubes and I have to eat and drink every day. Fun time. I said, but other than that, I just, you know, I'm going to work out and get myself in better shape, less flab. So it says to dri uh, dribble this, drizzle it. Drizzle and dribble. That's the dribble. Oh, and this part, I thought I never liked, but I do. Because I would always put more shredded cheese in. Oh my gosh. I like Taco Bell. Oh, we got so much to talk about, and here I am just drizzling my cheese away. Okay, so we got that, we got that, and um, so we're going to top with a corn tortilla. Perfect. And, you know, those, I'm going to need them to deep fry those if I uh, just bake them. The healthier version I might do that. I mean, just for me. But for people, I would deep fry it because it gives it a little bit more fla flavors, right? Okay, so, oh, now the sour cream. Now the sour cream. I just so love this little card. It's like, okay, let me use, oh, for the mojito, the green spatula. And it says, just spread some sour cream. I'm like, okay, this is some sour cream for me. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, the guy who uh, signed me up for the gym and that, he's like, oh, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow you on YouTube. I'm like, okay. <laughs> no, that's good. He was sweet. Sweet guy. Okay. I'm going to put that up there. What is this? Oh, my gosh, that's so good already. I'm just licking my fingers. Whoa. Okay, now we're going to tap with lettuce, tomato, and the Mexican cheese. And we're going to do it all in that order. I am so not going to get this close. I can tell already. Okay. Maybe I'm just going to make one. What one? Okay. And one the cheese, which is most important. And then we got to tackle it to wrap it. I feel like I'm going to be wrestling with it. Wrestling with it. You know, sometimes I don't have time to talk about other stuff over here. It's just all about food and a drink. And you know I like me some cheese, so... I'm only making one, okay, you guys? I'm only making one. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Um... And by the way, we're going to go eat where I was yesterday. I really like that little spot. And, but I'm gonna, I have to put my little, um, I put, um, what is it? I don't know, like a ottoman. It's not really ottoman, but I put that there. So I'm going to sit on the floor and we're going to see how that works out. Okay, now it says I'm going to, I'm going to fold this, but there's going to be a gap in the middle. So it says to cut out. Another flour tortilla. So let me do that now because I can see already that they're right about that. It's because I'm gonna gonna you know make it a little crunchier on top of my stove. So I'm just gonna. I know this lady. This she goes. Oh my god, you're with your knife. She, I, I love her though. She. I'm okay. I'm good. I'm just cutting up a little something. I don't even know if this is going to fit, but, all right. So, 
let me, I'm going to, uh, let me get the oil going. Oh, hang on, you guys. Alrighty. Okay. So I'm going to get that going. So that gets a little hot because we are ready to move to that step. So we're just going to, and trust me, I don't, I don't have to follow the directions on this because I know how Crunchwrap looks right like this. Okay. But see, now there's that little, little. And I get, I get what she's talking about. Don't have time to cut it. Okay. So we're just going to put it in there. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Well, mine's a chubby crunch wrap. There is, probably because I don't have a half a cup of meat in. I got like three cups. But, okay. So now I'm like, it's getting hot. Here we go. That's kind of fun though, you guys. Oh. And put it, it says, put it seam side down. Yeah, wait a couple minutes so let's just try this out make sure we had the right nacho cheese mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh my gosh yeah <laughs> my poor trainer I'll be like no I just had chips and salsa chips and cheese had a mojito that's okay I'm, I'm not going to be trying out for bodybuilding of women over 60 or whatever so it's all good. Let me get a little spatula. And um, the ugly crop utensil area. Oh my god. You guys, this has been fun. I had so much fun with you guys. I was like, just, it's relaxing for me too, I gotta say. So. Mm. I'll just sit here. I just, sorry. I am going to flip that, but that's really good. Mm. You know what? You know what it is? When you start your day off right, okay, like, I got up, washed my hair, did my hair, went to the, I just accomplished so many things this morning, and, and that's me. I'm going to have to work out before I do these videos, because after I do them and I got to upload them, it just is like one or two in the morning, or one or two in the morning, in the afternoon, and it's hot, and it's like, oh my gosh, you know. So I'm going to do that first thing in the morning. I can do that. Because I feel so accomplished. Ooh, wow, this is, is total. Look at you guys. Oh my God, you guys, I am Taco Bell. Oh, God. I can't believe. I have to say, I can't believe I do some of this stuff. It just kind of, like, surprises me, too. So... So I think that's all we got to go. Yeah, let's get. We're gonna get ready to uh, go over and eat, right? Yeah, let me get put all my little notes over here. Let me just wheel my little cart. I'm not gonna take it with me because I'm gonna eat. I just feel. I love this color. It's like teal. And I have a, like the teal end table that you can't see because I put my computer on top of it. But <sighs> I'm just so happy. I'm happy. I'm going to go work out again. That makes that just makes me have happy hormones. I guess something. Love that. Okay, so I'm going to try and get you over to the table, and then. I'm going to bring my food over, I think, first. Mm. I think this is good. It is not as flat of a crunch wrap, but, oh, my God, look at that. We are going to find out if it tastes like the crunch wrap. Okay. And the cheese and chips, I'm going to have to leave you here. I'm a little sorry about that. But, anyway, uh, um, let me take this over first, and I'll come back and get you guys, okay? Okay. Okay, you can look at my new teal tray I have for you. All righty. Oh, perfect. And as usual, I have not tested this out over there, so I'm not for sure how that's going to go down. So, um, let me get this out of the way because I 
have that on my surfboard cutting board because I do oh my gosh if, if this goes off today and I don't get to eat this with you guys I'm gonna be so sad but I think I think I've got it down I just oh that's so much video lighting but I um just taking it without touching the computer okay here we go oh oh my oh let's put the flowers over here my flowers are almost done I don't know. They're not going to make it another day. Here, I'm going to see if that'll work. Oh, let me push you back a little bit. I think so. Now let me open up my blinds because when I'm in the kitchen, that does not work. Does it work today? Oh, maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, it does. I just need to come up a little bit, right? Okay. <laughs> you guys are so patient with me. You never say, oh my gosh. You go, you go through so much for, to get us here and there. It's like, you know what? I love that. Oh, wow. That's, well, hey, you got front and center stage. So anyway, here is our crunch wrap recreation of Taco Bell. And you know, also, I did not eat, I did not, not only did not eat my fortune cookie, but I did not read it. Oh my God. It could have been earth or life changing for me. Earth shattering changes, whatever you want to say. It could have been. Anyway. Bon appetit and another cheers, you guys. This has been really, really fun. So, let's try. I'm so excited if, if this is like, just like Taco Bell. Oh my God. Mmm. It is. Oh. Thank you, Sally. Mmm. I may never go to Taco Bell again. Wow. And you know what? For me to go to fast food or talk about, it's just about being lazy. It's like, oh, I don't have the ingredients. But now that I'm cooking and you kind of get your ingredients around, it's like, wait, I got that at home. Oh, I have the home. No, I just need that. I'm like, you will, guys will cook uh, more than you even imagine. Mmm. Wow. Look at Um. Wow. I'm so happy. And thank you, Pinterest. Oh my gosh, I am so happy. I have had so much to talk about, you guys. It's insane. And I do want to talk about some stuff because... Um, one thing I want to talk about, let me see, is the Miss America pageant. And because we didn't talk a lot yesterday on the video, they're, um, I don't know if you all know, but they're getting rid of the swimsuit competition. And this was on TMZ Live, and they interviewed the, the current Miss USA. And she, they go, oh, how do you feel about that? She goes, you know what? I'm so happy. She says, you know what? That was a swimsuit competition. She goes, she didn't need, she hasn't used any of the swimsuit competition to uh, further, like, Miss America. They, you know, she goes, I totally agree with them. She goes, that just had nothing to do with what the pageant stood for, which also they're not calling it a pageant anymore. You know, a pageant is a, about beauty. It's now a competition. It's like, how did it take them this long? I mean, what is it, 2018? And they're just now figuring that out? They will always put clips up of the girls going out in their swimsuits. And many of the girls would say, oh my God, I haven't eaten for weeks. Some, if you know, for a month, and they're like, what's the first thing you're going to do when you, when you are done tonight at this pageant? They're like, I'm going to eat. So glad they're changing that, but for me, it's like, wow, man, that, that should have been years ago. Just years ago, but. So now, there's, you know, it, it's, it's like open to all women 
of sizes and shapes and everything. So I hope they stick true to that. Because, um, of course, Harvey on TMZ. I'm sorry, some men are just pigs. He said, he asked the current Miss America, USA. Sorry. Um, to go up. Aren't you going to lose a lot of views? Aren't you? Aren't they worried about that? That people are people aren't going to watch. Meaning, men want to see skin and beauty. Basically, I just that's allegedly what. And she's like, oh no, that you know you're going to see us interviewing how intelligent we are. Blah blah blah. She was just she was just right on. I love she was everything. I loved her. And I was like, really, Harvey, you're just talking about the man. Because they just watched that for whatever. Just like they watch the Victoria's Secret fashion show, the big one, every year. It's like, it's for the same reason. It's like, that was just really scummy of Harvey, I think. I'm just saying. Anyway. Because I live with a guy who was like that. Oh my God, Victoria's Secret fashion show. I thought, I, are you buying anything? I'm thinking... Never, never got one lingerie item from him. Hmm. So I was like, I've lived it. I, I get what you're saying, Harvey. But you're not saying it. You're just hiding it under, under all people. Anyway, that's all I'm saying on that. Like I said, I've lived everything. I could be a therapist. I know. It's like, hmm. Anyway. I'm kind of getting hot, you guys. First of all, I do have an Elvis sweater on. And this was Trisha's. But I'm really hot. But I am, I'm just saying, I'm going to go work out. I'm going to work out my arms, so you guys. So, I, I, I feel better for myself. But I'm hot. Whew. I'm hot. <sighs> Whew. Okay. But I am enjoying this crunch wrap. I was gonna, I'll make another one up for tonight. But, oh, so good. And that's another thing. Why doesn't Taco Bell have their own seasoning for their meat? I look for that too. If you guys know if it's not another grocery store, let me know. Because I would so do that. I would. Okay. Um, let me try. Cause so, the Miss America was like old business too, but. I got a lot of shout outs. But if any of you guys watch um, Sex in the City, I, have, I really have never watched that. But it's celebrating 20 years ago. It, it started on HBO. Oh my God, Sarah Jessica Parker looks so young. But I never watched it. I never, I don't know. I'm sorry, you guys. I picked my teeth. I'm so sorry. But I feel really comfortable around you guys. So anyway, I what one, the one thing I liked about the show, probably the only thing I liked about the show because I never watched it, was Sarah Jessica Parker had the bomb outfits. Every outfit she wore was so freaking cute. And the other ones, no. I'm like, that wasn't fair, but I know she was the star. And I think they all thought they were all for the stars, but no, she was a standout. But I'm just saying, the little bits and pieces that I, I saw of it, her clothes were so cute. It's like, where did she get them? If you guys know where she got them, I would love to know. I would even buy them if she got on Poshmark, <laughs> which I didn't go to happen, but... That that would be pretty funny. I could do that. So anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying what you're eating. I have to say, I there was one that was kind of funny. Um, what did she say? Oh, this is a shout out to More Style. More Style. Hey, she goes. I bought. <laughs> this is. You guys are just too cute. I, I'm just gonna say that right now. She goes. I bought Mexican takeout for dinner and had it on the counter. But I watched your video before I ate. She goes, and I ended up ordering Chinese delivery. She goes, what am I doing with you? Oh, my God. You know what? That is just too funny. I'm sorry. That that would so be me, too. If I'm watching somebody, like, oh, my God, i got to go get some of that or, or that dessert. I'm like, I'm going to go get that pie. But I totally, I totally get it. That was just too funny for me. But it's like, it was really good, though, i got to say. I ain't just faking it. That's like people who do uh, food eating shows and stuff, and like they take a bite and then they then they spit it away. Trisha goes, some, they'll just spit it. They're doing a mukbang and they'll just spit their food. I'm like, that is not. I'm that. Mm, 
that wasting food and just doing it for views or whatever. Like, honey, don't do that. Find your you'll find your own niche of what you love. And oh my gosh, I have found it. I love to eat too. Oh yeah. It runs in my family. Anyway, yeah. You have to definitely find something you're passionate about in life. So, but, that was cute. I love that. Of course, then, Jason C. Hi, Jason. He goes, why would you choose Panda Express when you live in L.A.? He goes, if I lived in a flourishing city, I would definitely try other options. First of all, I love Panda. I'm a simple girl. I never got Chinese growing up. So I eat what I like. You know, if I go to something fancy, which I wouldn't, I wouldn't even know where to go for good Chinese. Um, I've done PJ Ch PF Chang's. I know people say that's fake Chinese food, but that's good. That was, I would go there. But first of all, I don't even live in LA. I don't even live close to the city in LA where they have all them fabulous restaurants and that. I live on the beach and it's like you don't get a lot of options. So I, I want, when I want to eat, I want to eat something I know I'm going to like. There's nothing worse than eating something at a different restaurant that I didn't like. Maybe if a friend or whoever took me somewhere and goes, this is really good. And I've had, I've had those recommendations and they haven't been good. So, you know what? I'm all about me. I'm going to stay my simple lifestyle and eat what I want. And I love Panda and that was, everything I got was the bomb yesterday. I'm just saying. So, so good. So, Jason, I'm just, you know, I'm, I am a foodie, but I'm not a foodie. You know, I just, I stay to things that I'm true to in my heart. Because I, I just want to eat good food. And not like expensive food, you know, bougie food. Right here, I'm, I recreated Taco Bell, hello. This is me. Oh, first of all, too. For all of you who said this wasn't close enough to the camera when I was on the couch. Like, first of all, I who do I have that person there? Um, oh, Tasha. Tasha Mack. Tasha MC. Let's go, yay. So happy to see your face. Okay. She, when, well, that's what she said. Tasha. She goes, so happy to see your face. I'm like, first of all, thank you, Tasha. I don't get that a lot. I don't think a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, I'm so glad to see that face. I'm not good. Um, people go, oh, well, you, you were too far away from the camera. I'm like, oh, well, then you'll see every pore on my face because I come from DNA where we have, like, a lot of pores on our face, see? So, I was like, this, this is pretty close, but I'm okay with it, you know? I'm pretty good, but, but thank you. And um, as long as I'm on some shout outs, um, Laura Burris. Laura Burris. Lauren. Hi, Lauren. She goes, This is officially my favorite channel. She goes, I found you through Trisha's channel. My, well, thank you, girl. I appreciate that. I'm still like blushing, but here's your shout out. Thank you, thank you for finding us all. We're all like one big happy family on here, right? Da and Dolly Crete's. She also said, so thanks for finding my channel. I, I, I love you guys. I love the old viewers. I love the new viewers. I love everybody the same. So, you know what? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. Makes my day. And so does this mojito. Hmm. Oh, so good. Anyway, another, oh, I, I have these huge windows from floor to ceiling in my dining room, and I, I just look at the peop, people because, well, the, the little grannies is over there, but all the dog walkers. She just had, like, eight dogs on her. She's got them strapped to her waist and everything. I'm like, that's really cute. Mmm. Well, I have to say, this is as big as Taco Bell. Wow. So good. But you know what we're going to do? Hopefully I have enough time. Look what I got. My big Fashion Nova. I have never ordered from them. When I see Trisha, she orders from them all the time. I'm like, 
Carl, where'd you get that dress? And where I made that dress, so one of these are the same as hers, but luckily we don't um, go out in the same circles. Um. By the way, um, I'm sorry, I didn't get your name, but she goes, we can still see you when there's a blackout. <laughs> it's like, I know, I, I knew, after I did that, and that's why I become really quiet, I'm like, oh my god, do I stop the video, did they see anything, but, no, so, it's kind of what goes in my head sometimes, I'm, oh, it's dark, whatever, because I don't re-watch these at all, it's like sometimes to find, like, a thumbnail, but, Anyway, there was a cute little story on Amazon the other day about Amazon. Um, there was this delivery man, and he went to this house, and they had a doormat that said, please hide packages from my husband. And, and they had a camera, obviously, I guess, on their house. And so he read it, and it was so cute. He took picked up the package that he had dropped at their door, and took it out and put it on their, it was on their porch, which was right by the front door. And he put it right behind the chair. I'm like, that was so cute. Oh my God. I think they, they contacted him again and it just, I don't know they, what, they just acknowledged that that was such a, a great thing. That was. <laughs> but that's, I hope, I mean, there's a lot of women that live like that though. Oh, I can't let my husband see. Not me. Mm -mm, not anymore. I anyway, got my nails done. I just figured out I cannot have long nails. I have, remember I tried them the last time. I'm like, oh, I don't need them cut. Well, I ended up breaking five nails within 10 days. So I guess I got to stay with them short. Try my pedic here. But the bad thing about that was I hadn't got something in my contact. Remember, I always say I'm so afraid I'm going to get a contact. I'm going to have to leave you guys like for a couple minutes to go to the bathroom. I guess I could take you in there with me. I guess I could. Set you on the counter. <laughs> but I, I had to take it out. And then I had it on a, a napkin. Or they gave me Kleenex. And I held it on my lap the whole entire time. Because, you know, I didn't want to stop everything. But I did get the full benefit. The full feeling of it. Because I'm like, oh my god. I don't want to lose my contact. I kept checking and checking. And I'm like, oh. So that, that made me sad. So, but whatever. I came out. Okay. So, hopefully I'm good for another two weeks. Mm. Okay. I think that's enough of that napkin. And fresh. Oh, oh my God. My, I need Perel over here when I eat because if I'm going to go through my clothes, which I'm going to just open. Oh, but I do have, you know what, we'll talk about other stuff tomorrow. There's always another day. Unless my personal trainer just completely wipes me out tomorrow. <laughs> you guys won't see me like, then you'll know. Like, oh my gosh, she didn't survive. <laughs> but I will. Mm. So good. Okay. Let me wipe my hands off really good because I'm going to open this Fashion Nova. I'm really kind of excited. I was trying to find summer dresses and everything. Here we go. Oh. Well, see, now, this I thought was a little brighter. I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to tell you like it is. Fashion Nova. Yeah, this was a bright yellow online. And this is like a mustard. But... It's still cute. I like the sleeves. It's got a little distressed stuff going on, like here and there. So when I go to my dye bar, I just kind of like to be dressed up sometime. But it's kind of like, will be like right there. Perfect. I like this though. Actually, I don't need the bright yellow. I like the mustard. I do like that. But you gotta be careful because sometimes you don't get the right color because you don't want to take pictures and this is me on Poshmark sometimes I take pictures of like that's not the right color it's all, all depends on your lighting I just need to go buy a lighting studio I think and I think I'm going to eat all this today you guys <laughs> mm. but okay let's 
But this, uh, um, this almost makes me want to go out tonight. <laughs> you know what? Too, when I work out, I want to go out more. Just maybe have a cocktail at the bar and come home. I like that. Okay. Hmm. I don't remember what this was. By the way, I got all mediums. Oh, I love the material. Oh, what is this? Oh, yeah. I think it's a romper. Very cute. Oh, my gosh. you! Got, I love that. Don't you guys like that? So cute. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's got the shoulders out, too. Can I see that? Very cute. Let's see what else we got. Oh, oh, this was a dress. You guys see this? Oh, yeah, because this had a lot of, uh, oh, cute. Uh, these are, like, reasonable. I think this was only 20 bucks. It might have even been more on sale, too, but it's got the shoe in. I like that. See, I'm a sleeve person, and I like to pull up the sleeves and that. I do like that. This is my bumblebee dress. I, I just really like this. I'm fine. Okay, here we go. I love stretchy. I love stretchy material. That's just me anymore. But, oh, that's the bottom. <laughs> like, that's the top, but cute. It stretches. Trust me, it's going to have to stretch. Womp. I love that. But I, uh, once again, it's got the little sleeves. I like that. But I like it. It'll go. I like things that go over my knees. I do like that. Let me look at this one, you guys. This is the one I copied off of Trisha. She was on a video with Jason with it. I'm like, girl, that was so cute. It was just really cute. Okay, let me flip my hair because I feel like I'm going flat. That didn't help either, but okay. But this was really cute. Do you guys remember this one she wore? Cute. Cute, got it. Done. Stretch. We're good to go. Okay, one more bite. Until I open the next package. Mm. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. I got not in a hurry, but I want to see what else I got. Okay, here we go. This one. I like it when you order stuff and you forget what you got. Right here, that's me. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, yeah. This is, this is like a whole tubing elastic dress. But a lot of this stuff was on sale is why I got it. But am I, that is so comfy looking. I, just saying, I'm so happy with all my purchases. Now, this one, I got, because I had blue eyes. And it's hard to find blue things that that go with my eyes because it just, when I wear blue, at my eyes stand out more. So this is kind of like that mustard one was, only I think it's, oh, it's, a, oh, well, sleeves. But, like, once again, it stretches. It's long. It's not going to go up my butt. Love it. Right there. I have to do some outfits of the day. I don't know. Do they even do those anymore online? So anyway, thank you to Fashion Nova. Bump bump, there it is, you guys. www.fashionnova.com. And no, I'm not getting paid for this. I just wanted to try out their clothes. And I'm excited. Um, well, I think I need to bring this to a close. Because I'm going to ride my bike today. I feel good. Start working out again. And hopefully tone up better. 
just keep doing it. Just keep being the best that I can at my age. That's all I can ask for. And so, in partying, guys, this has been really fun. Really fun. I love you all so much. You know that. So, see you next time. Have any... I got a lot of drinks yet, too, I want to make, but... Give me your suggestions, and someday we're going to... We're going to make all of them one day. I'm never going to... God willing, I'm never going to duplicate a drink. I'm just also always going to persevere and keep making good cocktails. So, anyway, till next time, you guys. I love you. And take good care of yourselves. Bye.